Okay, so today we're going to add a favourite into Internet Explorer. Now, Internet Explorer is the application um, that we use to browse web pages. Um, we usually access web pages using a URL, which is a uniform resource locator, and it's also pronounced as URL, so URL for URL. Now, to start off with adding a favourite, the, the whole idea of a favourite is to keep all basically all of your favourite websites and links all in one place um, so you don't have to type the URL anymore okay uh, you can click a button it'll load the web page up it's a lot faster uh, and if you don't like, have if you don't have many uh, favorite websites then obviously this is such a quicker way uh, of being able to, to choose which website you go on and how it loads a bit quicker now of course first we're gonna have to open up Internet Explorer and I can do this by clicking start and then Internet Explorer or by typing internet Okay, into the bottom field here like so and it should bring up Internet Explorer as one of the top um, applications on there. Once it loads, okay, you, you'll get your Internet Explorer window open. It usually be set on your um, home page, which usually is a search engine if you haven't changed your home page. I'll show you how to change your home page later. Now, for this instance, as you can see here, this is my favourite bar. Um, so obviously this is the favourite button. If I click that, it will show me um, and then click favorites here it will show me all of the favorites on this laptop so anything that's on the favorites bar at the top is going to be in this folder favorites bar so if you click it as you can see the same icons are both on the bar at the top of the window and in the folder to get rid of this window here just click this button and it'll pop it away okay so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and add Facebook okay into our favorites because I use Facebook quite a lot Quite addicted to it, uh, especially all the games on there. So if we go to Facebook.com, okay, so we're typing in the URL, okay, into the address bar at the top, which is www.facebook.com. Once we've put that in, it brings us to the Facebook website. Now, it's very simple to add this as a favourite. All you need to do is here you'll see an icon, which is like a, a gold star with a green arrow. If you give that a click it will add it to your favorites bar so now here it says welcome to Facebook now just to make sure it is there you can you can check in the favorites bar folder um, as you can see it has added the, the Facebook favorite onto there now the brilliant thing about the the bar itself is that even though the space is limited on the screen your favorites folder isn't limited so you can add as many favorites as you want in there once your bar gets full there usually is an arrow that would appear okay, on the right hand corner that you can click and it will drop down all of your favourites that you've saved. Now for favourites that are on here, okay, I'll show you how to, to check the properties and, and delete them. You can also change them. So if you don't like, for this one it says welcome to Facebook, obviously that's not pretty, obviously you can tell it is Facebook, you know, but it, it's not user friendly, you can't actually look at it and go, oh, Facebook, it says welcome to Facebook, and it does take up more room on the favourites bar because there's more words there. So if you right click on it and click rename, it will give you the option with this window here to change the name of your favourite. So if you delete it out of there, you can put anything you want. So for example, I'm just going to type Facebook. Click the OK button. And now at the top it's changed to Facebook. You can do that with anything. So for this one it's iGoogle. I'm just going to call it Goog. And there's an Acer uh, a favourite there as well. Now it's pretty simple. If you want to delete a favourite that you've added, right click on it and then click delete. It'll then remove it from the favourites bar at the top of the window. It'll give you a quick prompt saying, are you sure you want to do this? Click yes if you're entirely sure that you want to remove the favourites and it'll disappear from the favourites bar. Now I must stress that you won't actually lose any information or data by deleting your favourites bar. It's just a shortcut. Um, so there is no data actually stored on your machine as such.